Harley Davidson, Fat Bob. It's hard for me not to be overly enthusiastic about this bike because it has been since it came out my absolute number one favorite Harley Davidson model. And this one with the new style, so I think it's like a 2018 or newer, I don't even know what year it is. We just got it out of service. 114 engine, Reinhardt pipes. It's got a windscreen, Mustang seats. I don't think those uh, mirrors are stock, but the bars are. The engine guard bars are an option, and I'm not mad at them, although it's not necessarily my thing. But uh, I love the fat bobs. I just love them. These things are great. Let me take the key fob off. I don't want to have a chance of losing that. Take that off and throw that in my pocket. I'll leave the windscreen on for the ride. Uh, we got a little 22 revolver cylinder holding the back of the seat on. All right, let's fire this baby up. That 114 engine is absolutely fantastic. Really good sound. Really good feel. The Mustang seat feels really cushy, really comfortable. I can see why somebody would want to put this on their bike if they were going to go on long rides. This machine is definitely comfortable enough that you can If they said, George, fly this Ride this out to uh, the west coast and uh, jump on a plane back I would say, yeah, sure, I'll take this Where do you want me to take it? Buy the credit card for gas for the plane ticket, and I'm on my way. I'd have no problem taking this coast to coast, back and forth, all over, everywhere. Because the bike just feels that good. George, let's go to the tail of the dragon. What bike you take? I'll take the fat bob. Not the fat boy. That is more of a cruiser. It's lower. And it too would be very comfortable. There's something about this bike that is awesome. Your seating position is much more, I don't know, it's not as lounge chair as some foot forward cruisers are, but this is almost more of a standard, it's a foot forward standard. So you could 
only get aggressive going into the curves. Breaking late and breaking hard with just the front wheel, just the front brakes. And you're not going to have any problems because you've got that big fat contact patch giving you lots of extra traction. A little annoying on a test ride, but what are you going to do? I'm not in a hurry. I'm enjoying this ride every moment of it, so it's all good. Also, take the inverted forks. Not adjustable per se, not like uh, forks on a sport bike, but they do have a, a real good solid feel. And uh, they're sprung from the factory uh, just right. So adjusting them really isn't a concern so much. Don't really care about that. I love the bars. going to go to Sturgis Cruiser. This is the let's go cruise out to the mountains and then tear the crap out of the mountain roads. That's what this bike is for. This is not your typical Harley Davidson in those regards. Harley is uh, uh, they do a lot of really good things in the touring and cruiser market. none for the bar and shield, but when it comes to aggressive riding, people don't think of Harley Davidson. But when I think of Harley Davidson, I'm thinking of the Lowrider S, and I'm thinking of the Fat Bob. And yes indeed, these bikes are 100% made and made for board they are a lot of fun, absolutely a blast, gotta love them, and it's just so smooth. This road is just less than optimal as far as the surface condition. The bike feels very smooth to me. And I'm not talking about just the 114 Milwaukee 8. I'm talking about the way the suspension and the way fat tires. the gallery of Boulevard, exercise a degree of caution, my friends. 
and here we are right back at the beginning. And I have to say, I might just take this around for another loop. I forgot to take photos of it. I got to take it to the back. Take some still shots for the website so I can put it in the online inventory so you guys can see all the details of the bike and the price. And then, uh, and then I'll put that link in the description. So you guys can see what is up with the spike and I don't even know yet oh I love it one of the hate it love it or leave it kind of things is the uh, the headlight this oblong situation which some people are turned off by I really dig it because it's a very effective illumination system and that's the whole point of it uh, all LEDs up front there with projector lenses a little bit of a different look adjustable rear suspension man that sounds good all right time for some still photos And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Street Bob.